What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Aaron Wildsout TV coming to you guys with another video. Let me move this mic down. Let me move it closer. Hopefully, y'all hear me. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is your boy Aaron Wildsout TV coming to you guys with another video. Now, before we get into this video, can I get um a like, comment, and subscribe? It is free 99 to do, okay? It is free 99 to do. Like this video, share this video, click that notification bell button to be notified whenever I go live. I don't know why I always triple for that word, child, but it won't be happening anymore over here, okay? Period. All right, and if y'all want to also donate to this channel, y'all could definitely donate by way of Cash App uh super chat super thanks and super thick stickers okay <laughs> all right you guys let's get into this video now y'all can tell by the thumbnail by what by looking at the thumbnail we will be discussing ice spice getting exposed by one of her ex-best friends Chow, let's get into it okay Mm, let me share my screen, chat. So, yes, y'all. This is the ex-friend in question with her, with um your girl Ice Spice. Baby, so, y'all, in this video, I will show you all the thread of the ex-best friend who is known as, let me, um, let me get uh, her name. So she goes um by the name on Twitter Baby Storm. Okay, she goes by Baby Storm. So um yeah. So let me go back to screen um share my screen. So Baby Storm was not in a place for reconciliation. Reconciliation um she literally tweeted, the next person to be exposed will be my ex-best friend, Isis, or as y'all know her, Ice Spice. Now, let me give y'all context. While she's saying next person to be exposed, um, she so before she um, got to Ice Spice, she was um, exposing one of her other um good girlfriends um that did her wrong so she is on a tangent she's on a roll child don't stop her because apparently she don't care a lot of people's calling her cloud chaser because she's taking it to the internet to expose ice spice knowing the visibility that ice spice has she's she's known now like people know her music she's visible so they think this is a clout chase. She's doing it for clout, but she says, you know what? It's not that. I just be feeling the way. And she no longer sees her as a best friend. So she's on a tangent. She's willing to expose. Okay, so let's um so she says the next person to be exposed is uh, her best friend Ice Spice. Isis. Now, if y'all don't know, um Ice Spice. Real name is Isis Naja, I think Gatson or Gatson or something, Gibson or something. I don't know. Um, one of the two, child, one of the two. But that's um, that's uh, besides the point. She then go to, um, I think she she uh responded to a comment. That said, um, no, that was that video. I don't think I got that video. Oh, no, that was not the vid. Uh -uh. That was not it. By the way, y'all, this is not in order. Okay, this is not in order. Mind y'all. Oh, uh, da, 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 da. Um. What was see I have to go to her page because um let me go to hers because at least these is in order and I don't wanna um 
take these out of order, okay? So give me one second. So before she was exposed to Ice Spice, she um exposed uh, one of her old friends, Marley. So that was the friend she was um she was exposing before Ice Spice. I just want to give y'all some context, okay? So going on. Yes. So she said her next person she was going to expose. Yeah, we already got that. And then she also played a video of Cleo. She also um, wrote on the caption, uh, this is Cleo. Y'all know Cleo, uh, Cleo Trapper? This is Cleo. The girl she chose to be her best friend to the public when in reality, it was me behind the scenes. Cleo and her are not really best friends. Isis has always hated Cleo, but she used her so she could so she could appear closer to blackness. She al she also lied about being Nigerian. She stole that from me. So let's go to the video of Cleopatra saying this. Give me one second. So Where? Ice Spice is also is also Nigerian. I didn't know. I no, seen a, I seen a tweet though, but I didn't know. Really? Is How she, close are y'all? She never told me that though. Really? I was kind of confused too when she tweeted that. I'm like, she, Did she tell me she's she, half. She told me her best friend was. I remember when I was talking about me being Nigerian. She was like, yeah, my best friend's Nigerian. But I mean, if she's Nigerian, then period. So, All I... right. so that was the video. All right. Let's go to the next one. The next. Uh, she then responded um, to that video because somebody commented under that video. And said, but you was a, you was accepting this. But you was accepting this. So why you only say this now? She then responds to that comment and says, because unfortunately, I thought she was a real friend. I've known her since she was 13. We went to the same grade school and high school, Sacred Heart in Yonkers, in Yonkers New York. Ain't Sacred Heart is the same high school Gaga went to in Paris Hilton? That's like a Catholic all-girls school? Um, I think it is. Put it down in the comments if that's the same school. Okay? Um, but because, unfortunately, I thought she was a real friend. I've known her since uh, we were 13. We went to the same grade school in high school, Sacred Heart, in Yonkers, New York. We met in eighth grade. She was my high school bully. I forgave her after high school because she apologized for bullying me. She only tried to rekindle with me when I started doing music and got some motion. She used my connections and resources to make her way to the top and pretended to be my friend. She forced everyone in her life to sign an NDA, including me, but the only person I signed to is God, so I will speak the truth. Okay, dag on. You became best friends with your high school bully. Damn. Somebody said that in the comments. I'm I'm reading that right now, cause baby, I would never be best friends with my bully child. Mm -mm. God speak. And then y'all. Bear with me because these text messages are long as F. But we're going to get through them because at the end of the day, y'all going to watch this video, child. So this is Isis, Ice Spice, second phone. Okay, so apparently she has two phones. Um, um I don't know what day she sent this, but it was at... 9.05 in the morning, child. Okay. All right. Um, She says, I noticed today that you refollowed Lucy. I don't know who Lucy is. Out of curiosity. I clicked her page. She was public. I clicked on a random pic, and the first comment I saw was yours. 
the last time I spoke to you about Lucy, you told me that you and her met up once in Rekindu, but that was all. A few months later, you said she only sends you memes sometimes, but I only... No, not but I only, but I know the reality is you guys are best friends again. No, you guys are friends again. Child, y'all, I'm dyslexia, by the way, but we're going to get through it, child. We're going to get through it. Even though I'm making my mistakes, it's okay. We all make some mistakes. We all make mistakes. This message is long overdue because despite everything you've done, I genuinely wanted to believe you were a real friend. But the reality is you are not one, have never been one, and will never be one. You and I were not close in high school because you were a bully. You knew you stole my best friend, LOL, and took every opportunity you could to throw it in my face and laugh you knew it gen genuinely hurt me but you are you're but you're a person who genuinely takes pleasure in other people's pain i moved on and left all of you behind then in 2019 you reached out to me after i started pursuing my music career you reposted the song on my on your story. I was surprised at the time to see it coming from you. Lucy also reached out to me trying to support all of, all of a sudden. As for Lucy, I knew it was fake. So basically, she, she feels like Lucy and Isis are fake. Okay, gotcha. All of a sudden, as for Lucy, I knew it was fake. But I now realize it was that for the both of you. You only supported me at the time just in case. But again, I wanted to believe it was real. In the same conversation, you told me you wanted to pursue music. I supported you and told you that you should. In January of 2021... My first song went viral. I don't know what song she's talking about because I haven't, I don't, I don't know this chick, y'all. I don't know this chick. Never heard of this chick. I didn't even know the chick song went viral. Okay. In January of 2021, my first song went viral. You reached out to me after that and planned for us to hang out. At this point, at that point, I hadn't seen you in five years. I drove to EJ's house to pick you up. And one of the first things you said when you got in the car was also, is EJ the hairstylist? You know, wasn't that EJ um, Megan hairstylist? Wasn't that the hairstylist? I don't know. I don't know who EJ is. I'm just speculating, y'all. So going on. It says, uh, da, 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 so, um, one of the first things you said when you got into my car was also, I'm sorry if I was a bitch in high school. I said, it's okay. Then we went to get lunch on our way there. You told me you stopped being friends with her years ago. You spent the whole car ride talking about how fake Lucy was. And all these reasons why you stopped being friends with her. Before we went in, I had a Zoom call with, um, what's, what's, what's that word? Elama, Elama, Eliamo or something. Child, I don't know. I wasn't interested since it's a hip hop label, but told them about you on the phone. You were only friends with me at the time because you saw my motion and wanted to be acquainted. 
You pretended to be a real friend. How you pretend to be a real friend? Is either you a real friend or not? Just saying. Um, I don't know how somebody pretends to be a real friend. I don't. I don't know. But whatever. But again, I didn't want to believe otherwise. A few months later, I moved to California. I told you that you were always welcome to visit. See, that's the that's the problem right there. You extended your hand out to the girl. Okay. You extended these these invitations. Wouldn't have been me. But okay, you helped her out. Like you 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 extended yourself. But all right, let's go. Um I told you that you were always welcome to visit. Why would you let a high school bully visit you? Even though y'all made up and, you know, y'all big for making up, but I just would invite somebody to California to visit me. Like, I'm just saying. Um, to visit. Uh, you texted me one day and asked if you could stay with me as a favor. I said yes. Again, why would you let that person? Like, I could tell about visit, but you stay, like, she's staying with you? You extended yourself too much, boo. That's only your fault. That's your fault, but okay. Um, You have your only self to blame. You have only yourself to blame, boo. Um, Yeah, and I said, yes, I happily opened up my home to you when I found out you came with EJ. But left him to sleep on the floor of Jordan's uh, apartment uh, while you were comfortably staying at my place. I opened up my home to him as well. Someone I didn't even know at the time. It couldn't be fucking me. Baby, the, the more I read, is the more I'm looking at you like, baby, I bet they saw a stupid person. They, like, they, <laughs> they, they ran over you, babe. Like, you're taking in, first of all, you took in your, your high school bully, and now you're taking in somebody that you don't even know. You are really nice. They saw a fool when they saw, you know what? They saw, <laughs> they saw a person that they could get over on. That's what it is. They saw you as a person that they can get over on. That you were so nice and you were so this and that. Baby, they got over on you. Okay. Um, I didn't even know no at the time i let you both um let me read that again i happily opened up my home to you when i found out you came with ej but left him to sleep on the floor of jordan's apartment i don't even know who jordan's is okay while you were comfortably comfortably staying at my place I opened up my home to him as well. Someone I didn't even know at the time. I let you stay with me for two weeks. That's too much. Within that time, you pretended to be a friend. You accidentally let it slide, slip that you accidentally let it slip that you, Lucy, and Travia all went to egg my house. Oh, let me see Egg My House. Not Egg Joe. House Girl. She said you accidentally let it slip that you, Lucy, and Trevor all went to Egg My House. But you said you were coming clean at that time. I was I was on okay terms with Lucy until you told me what had happened. And I cut ties with her for good. And never look back. Thank God 
You even spoke to my mom about the situation, making it seem like it was all her and not you. For years, you told me you could never be friends with Lucy again because of the person she was. But the truth is, the truth is, you two belong together. I want to make it clear that you are not my friend. And when the time comes, I will expose to the world. I will expose you to the world. The real person you truly are. Count your days. Y'all, that was long, but it's okay. We got through it, y'all. And also, I apologize for my, uh, you know, my <laughs> remedial reading, child. But child, listen, I can read, child, but child, sometimes my eyes be playing tricks on me. I need glasses, girl. I need glasses. Okay? So, she also commented on a, um, a, a Twitter user that wrote, was she ever colorist? This Twitter said, this Twitter user said, was she ever colorist? That's something many people have wanted to know about her. She erased most of her tweets before 2020. Baby Simone said yes. So, if y'all want to know, allegedly, Ice Spice, Isis Naja Gatson is a colorist, okay? Baby Simone said yes, and then she put up a series of um, text messages. This is, like I said, this is Isis' phone. This is on Sunday, September 17th. At 4.07 p.m. She writes, but then she'll be like, I'm dark skinned, so I always have to work harder than everyone. Uh, sad emoji, um, water, you know, weapon emoji. Um, there's some four replies right here that we're going to get into. I think is on the next slide. Uh, some girl on Twitter stopped, stoop, some girl on Twitter stooped low, so I went to hell. Um, she, she replied to actually what, actually, actually, wait, I'm lying on her last single, did well, two replies, her second to last, then, uh, um, another tweet Sunday, September 17th at uh, 7.02 p.m. But then she'll be like, um, I'm dark skinned for replies. Um, I don't know about that. Um, this is really true, but only partial. Um, yeah, yeah, I hate that song. Like, actually, I didn't like it when I first heard it either. I think it's annoying, but her team did a lot to push it. Okay, so these are ir irrelevant. The next slide is, um, but still no fan base. Okay, going down to here. Um, she didn't write, which I understand, but let's not act like she, she's not one of those chosen dark skins because she does benefit from pretty privilege still and for being skinny. Booty drop. Do they offer to pay you when they ask you to promote other people's music? Okay. So, Baby Simone feels like these these are receipts of um, Ice Spice being colorist. What do y'all think? Do y'all feel like um, just reading off of these sex messages what I just presented to y'all, she's um colorist. You decide. Okay. And then we go, then she responds um to the thread said, and the sad part is I was too scared to put her in her place. I was afraid of her, but not anymore. Girl, y'all are grown. Y'all are grown now, baby. 
I feel like low key you could really take her on some stuff. I don't know what her hands is giving, but okay. Child Simone hasn't stopped there. She also goes on to tweet. She is also fat phobic and many other things. And by the way, I only I'm only telling you guys about one percent of it. Believe it or not, this is nothing. Peep Shea Butter community. Peep Shea Butter community. She is referring to dark skins. So the this is um her phone and this is Isis second phone. Uh, LMF, LMFAO, oh, <laughs> like I wish I could fight that wide bitch. I usually don't respond to people, but how are you going to make a whole graph? And on top of that, mention Down syndrome. Like, bitch, I hope them, I hope them. I hope all them kids you have to be born with Down syndrome. The fuck? First of all, the grammar, child. Like, bitch, I hope them all kids you have to be born with Down syndrome. The fuck? Acting like they know you in real life. We're just human and everybody has their breaking point. For And she goes on to say, for real, but people think they can play with me all day. That's why I'd rather be like Doja. I'll happily tell everyone to go to hell, and I don't care. The Shea Butter Twitter community praying on my downfall. Same, and I'll go with them. Not the Shea Butter Twitter community praying for my downfall. Mm. And she did say peep Shea Butter community. She's referring to dark skins by saying Shea Butter community. Wow. Um, the next bit of proof. The next going on to the next. Um, a Twitter user, I don't know the Twitter username, but she goes on to tweet baby Simone. Girl, don't take all this to the internet. These people don't care about you or your well being. They just want drama. Address this with the people you trust, who love you and want the best for you. Uh, baby storm, um, hits back and say, I know they don't, but I don't care because I, I, I'm actually a good person. And when the shit hits the fan, no one will be able to say, I didn't warn you guys. As I said before, the people laughing at me now will be the same ones crying later. So let them laugh. Okay. I love a good get back child. I love a good, you know, baby. I told you. I told you. I love a good that. Um, she then goes on to tweet. I don't know Chloe's Twitter to tag her, but I know she'll see this. Chloe always knew Isis wasn't her real friend. She may not want to speak up now, but she knows. And Chloe is Nigerian as well. I mean, we saw that in the video. She said she's Nigerian. And she also acknowledged um baby Simone being Nigerian as well. And this is Ice Spice, probably her her um her main phone. We'll probably end up being um we'll probably end up getting Chick-fil-A. Um Ice Spice said exactly and me neither. To be honest, we need a chill day. Okay, so studio, then Chick-fil-A, then back to the hotel. What time am I getting there? Is too good. To the studio, I mean. Yeah, text me before you come to make sure I'm still there. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you later. Um, Please hurry up. Please hurry before Chloe lands. LMFO, okay, teapot. Okay, got it. What? Okay. I don't know. Hurry before Chloe lands. Okay. Y'all shading, you shading Chloe? Wow, that's crazy. Um. Oh, now we found out who EJ is. EJ Riot, because I think whenever she um she intros her song, he's like, what she says, what she says, what she says. Um, I I'm thinking that she says Ryan. 
I didn't know she says riot when she enters. Go get them, um, riot. You know when she enters the song, I'm thinking that she's yeah. I'm really thinking that she says um Ryan instead of riot. Wow, I'm gagged at that. Okay. So we found out what EJ, who EJ is, which is Riot, is her producer and boyfriend since 2019. He was the real mastermind behind her career and the one who pushed her to rap. She cheated on him with TJ. Now she, child, now she cheated with him on with TJ and then rapped about it on their song together. If you don't believe me, just go back and read the lyrics to Gangsta Boo. Okay. But this time, read carefully. They were talking about him. She knows no loyalty, not even to the only person who has always been there for her, Riot. And this is Riot's phone number. Um, I remember thinking I was falling for you, but it was... Just the honeymoon phase. Isis cheated on you with TJ in 2002 and lied to your face about it. Then she had the audacity to sing about it on Gangsta Boo, the song you produced. Ask her about it. She was in love with him for almost a year. I'm sorry. It happened the night she slept with. She slept in TJ's bed while you were in the house. What? Wow, this is good drama. This is really good drama. Like, what? Like, I'm finding all this out. It's crazy. She then goes on um, a series of tweets. Isis did the same thing in her power. No, Isis did everything in her power to make sure my career would never take off. She did everything you could. She did everything you could possibly. You, wait, <laughs> child. I am literally reading it as it is. Let me start over. Isis did everything in her power to make sure my career would never take off. She did everything you could possibly think of and more, but I'm not afraid of her anymore. This is the truth. Wow. And somebody saying this is corny and lame, yada, yada. Uh, somebody else saying that your music is awful, so you wasn't going to pop regardless. Damn. Just, you know, hit the girl down. All right. Um, She did. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, and then she goes on to, like, bash Nikki. Because she she realized that the people that's going after her is um Barb's. Cause, you know, she then goes at, yeah. Uh, so I'm not going to like go into that, but yeah, guys, looking at the receipts and what I read to you, what do y'all think about the situation? Please put it in the comment section below. I would love to see our thoughts on the um, whole matter of the ex best friend um, or friend, um, baby Simone exposing ice spice as a colorist, fat phobic and, um, yeah uh please put your comments in the comment section below i would love to see your comments like comment and subscribe uh what i let me just give my opinion on this little situation honestly i don't give a fuck <laughs> this has nothing to do with me uh simone baby um i don't know your music i don't know uh what song went viral of yours um so you are a mystery to me Another thing, Simone, you are a lovely lady. You're a very lovely lady. And I just want to let you know that. But you too much of a nice person because, baby, the mere fact that you became friends with your high school bully, I, un I understand letting bygones be bygone and letting stuff in the past leaving stuff in the past. But, baby, I just wouldn't be friends with people that made my high school experience or whatever school experience a living hell. Okay? The mere fact that you said that you were afraid of her and you're no longer, 
that speaks volumes. And the fact that you didn't do it in front of her and you're doing it online shows you that you're definitely scared of her because you didn't confront her. You didn't confront her. You could have pulled her. You could have, you know, y'all could have got a uh, Chick-fil-A or something and talked to her about this. But, you know, you chose what you chose. The fact is you did too much in the beginning. Yet you said you, she, you gave her some connections. You helped her get big, you know, and now she's big. We don't, we don't even know who you are. Shit. I, I didn't even know your song went viral. So you literally helped this woman that is, that was like you, like, if you really think about it, you let your high school bully get bigger than you. You literally pushed your bully to stardom. I'm still tripping off the fact that you let this woman, you let this woman visit you in California and stay with you for two weeks. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Bitch, you got me all the way fucked up. Not a person that was pushing me downstairs, slapping me across the motherfucking face, making my high school experience a fucking, a, a, a fucking, like, like what? A torture chamber. Like, you made my life a living hell. Like, what? I'm so confused by that. I'm so confused. You have a heart of gold or you probably was like, you know what? Hey, I don't know what was in your mind, but baby, you have nobody to blame but yourself. And I do agree. Maybe you have to let it out. But honestly, I have to probably agree with one of the commenters. This is lame and corny. But thank you for the tea. Because honestly, I don't care for um Miss Ice Spice. I don't care. I never cared about this lady. Um, I don't even think that she's going to be around for that long, in my opinion. Because she, Ice Spice is like, she's going to be a flash in the paint. I, that's what I see. I don't know. She probably, go, she, she has a fan base right now that actually likes her. But I don't see her sustaining in the industry. Um, she has a one. She has one flow. She constantly used. She is not switching it up to me. She's. I don't. I don't think that she's talented. I really don't. I really don't. Um. But what's so crazy is that. While getting my thumbnail together, that one picture, y'all, and I and I promise you, I had to dig deep into finding a picture for this thumbnail because every picture of Ice Spice is literally holding on to her tits, being very explicit, licking her tongue out, and it's like she don't take great pictures. Ice Spice doesn't take great pictures. She is just. That one picture like was a heaven sent. But with that, whatever, whatever. I say all that to say, Simone. Go on and let God's let. Give it to God. Give it to God. Thank you for the tea. Thank you for letting us know that she's a colorist and a fat phobic. She's fat phobic. Um, but honestly, if you didn't tell us, we wouldn't care. Honestly, because I don't, I really don't pay attention to Ice Spice like that. And I don't care about her music. I don't care about her. If she never came back to music, I wouldn't miss her. Like, where's Ice Spice? Nobody give a fuck. I don't, at least I don't. So, yeah, y'all, I would love to hear y'all um, opinions about this. 
Um, what do y'all think about what I just read? Um, please be nice to me in the comments about my reading, okay? Listen, I was look first of all, it was a lot of grammatical errors. It was no periods. It was kind of like run on sentence and I tried my best, child. So, so first of all, one comment like literally sent me to a wall to have me remove the shit because they were talking about my reading. And they was like, this nigga slow. And I'm like, what? I'm not slow. But anyway, whatever. Please like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Um, uh, follow all of my uh social medias in the description below. Um, click that notification bell to be notified whenever I go live. And also, um, get the memberships. Get your memberships. And I will see y'all in the next video. Later, guys.